I'm with Jared, testing the Rex at a shopping mall, and we've hit a bit of a snack. So, what happened? I'm way more nervous than you, Jared. The Rex brain can't register when a foot slips, and that is precisely what it did. So really, all we've proven is the Rex has a long way to go till it's as real-world durable as, say, a wheelchair. But Zen master Richard Little remains unfazed. What we used to say when we started this project, we said one step at a time, we'll fix one problem at a time. The Rex faces other hurdles too, none more daunting than its prohibitive price tag. What do you think that thing would cost? $50,000. $50,000? I was going to say Even more? What do you think? $90,000? That's a $150,000 unit right there. 150 large makes these some seriously expensive gams, well out of the reach of most buyers. But you know what? Computers were pretty expensive when they first came out, and how'd they do? Wow. Our thing's expensive, right? But what would you pay if you um, never thought you were going to walk again and you were suddenly walking? What would you pay oh, then? You pay anything. Anything, right? Richard and Robert are confident that over time their creation will become more affordable. In the meantime, Rex Bionics has just made its first sale. Dave, this is the first unit that was, uh, you bought the first unit? First in the world. This right here is a big deal, folks. Dave, a multiple medal winning Paralympian, is standing after being in a wheelchair for 30 years. Did you get like a stamp number one on the thing or something? I got a bottle of champagne. Yeah, you got a, that's not bad, eh? Although drinking that champagne while in the Rex is probably a bad idea, the Rex has recently been cleared for sale in Europe and Asia. Think I'll see you in one one day? Oh, I definitely will. Meanwhile, Richard and Robert are hard at work designing the next version of the Rex. Lighter, faster, more stable, and eventually, more affordable for everyone. You know what uh, we gotta do is we gotta come up with uh, some names for the next generation of the Rexes. Right, what are you thinking? Like, uh, well, the underwater Rex, what would you call it? Like Scuba Rex? Aqua Rex. Aqua Rex, I like Aqua that. Rex. Yeah. Oh, submersibles. We could do a desert Rex, yeah. camouflage in color. Camouflage Rex? Oh, that'd be good. What if you make it so small that, uh, like, one day people don't even know they're wearing it? Yeah, wear it under your trousers. Yeah. Invisible Rex? Yeah. Well, that'd be the one under your pants. <laughs>